Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 7.0. And today is day 41. So, yesterday we talked about how to create a postcard design from the designs applet. Um, and today we're actually going to take that postcard and apply it to a direct mail campaign. So, if you'll remember back on day 32, we covered direct mail campaigns. We used the template from Real Mailers on that day. I wanted to show you today how to actually use your own design template. So as a quick refresher, inside of Designs, you are going to see the asset that we created. So here's our postcard. Remember when you're titling your assets, you probably wanna title them such that you recognize which one is which. So I used PC for postcard. And I just wanted to show you one more time because this is the most often asked question I got is, hey, it won't work inside of campaigns. You've got to absolutely make sure that we're downloading these designs correctly. So again, remember that we are downloading a postcard asset. We want to make sure that we are using PDF for printing, that we include the bleed, and that we download page one separate from page two. So we would download page one, and then we would come back in and download page two. I was gonna show you inside of at least my hard drive, this is kind of what it looks like. You've got the first card listed and then the in parentheses one is the second time that I download this file. Because the file has the same name, it just puts that parentheses in one. So you might wanna come back and name this, you know, uh, PC just listed 1409 South Austin back. And then this first one would be the front. So again, making sure that you have PDF for printing, included the bleed, download page one, separate from page two. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and transition back to campaigns. And we're gonna bring up a direct mail campaign and show you how you can actually load your postcards in to that direct mail campaign. So we're gonna go direct mail, create campaign, um, and this is going to be a direct mail campaign. Again, remember this was uh, 1409 South Austin, just listed postcard, and today is the 12th. So I would put the date. Uh, I wanna advertise this listing and I'm gonna go ahead and create the campaign. Now we don't necessarily need to choose a listing because we already have our design template loaded up. So this is also something to note that you can create postcards that don't actually use a listing. Whether you're advertising the listing you know, before it goes live on the MLS in order to time that postcard delivery appropriately. Remember it takes anywhere from seven to 10 days for that postcard to arrive. If you've got the design already created, you don't necessarily need to choose that, solic that listing here in the select listing part. So underneath content, the last time we did this video, we went with the template. Now we're gonna to transition to upload design. And you can see it's even gonna give us the card size, the pixel count, and the height and width of the actual postcard. So you can even see that it should be, images should be JPEG or PDF, front and back need to be separate files, need to have at least 300 DPI with an additional 0.125 inch bleed. So if we go in and choose the front of this postcard, I'm gonna browse, I'm gonna find that actual document. Let me pull that up real quick. And I already showed you kind of where that was. So here is the front. And it's gonna show you a preview of what that looks like. We're gonna come and browse for the second file. That's the one with the one in parentheses or if you've changed the file name, the back. And now I can click on save. And I can now, again, remember, we're gonna verify the address and we are going to confirm. Targeting, again, remember, you can put in local targeting if you want to. It's not necessarily required because you can always change that when you get into the actual Real Mailers program. So Texas and I don't remember the zip code, but we're gonna put in the zip code and see what it says. All right. So we'll save that, <coughs> excuse me. Now when we go into configure targeting, you can see that we are taken mm -hmm. into that same exact opportunity where we can choose either the number of homes we wanna target, the uh, radius, we can choose number of homes, we can actually draw on the map. You guys saw all of this when we did this back on day 33. 
But once we have selected all of that information and we go to the next button, you're gonna see a preview of the designs that we created. So pretty short video today, but I just wanted to show you the ability to take these designs that you created and now implement them in the direct mail campaign versus using the original template. That's it for today, guys. Hope you're having a fantastic day. And as always, I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon.